analog and digital signals. There are two different ways of sending information, either by analog or by digital signals. So what's the difference? Well, let's look at the analog signal on screen. We can see that it varies continuously in both amplitude and frequency. And the signal can take one of many different values. Now let's look at a digital signal. So here we see that the signal can only take two values, either a 1 or a 0, which we sometimes call on or off. Digital signals are sent as a series of pulses of either 1s or zeros. OK, so that's great, but which is better? Well, digital is a much better way of sending information over long distances. Now let's see why. So, here is someone talking on a phone. The signal from their voice is analog, sound, and it enters the phone and is converted to a digital signal and then sent out via microwaves to a phone mast which then sends it on to a satellite and then back down to another phone mast and then on to the person receiving the phone call. Let's look at the signal received by that phone. If we look, we can see it has picked up a lot of noise or interference. But it's still really obvious exactly what it should look like, so the phone can easily convert it back perfectly to be the same as the original signal. Now let's look at this using analog. So now the analog signal, the sound, enters the phone and is turned into an analog electrical signal and sent down copper wires. Now, note how it picks up noise and interference and the amplitude is reduced as it travels until it gets to the other phone. Now let's look at it again. It looks very, very different to the original signal now. It's almost completely impossible to know what this signal should have looked like. And it needs amplifying as well. This amplification is only going to amplify the noise just as much as it does the signal. So noise or interference has really damaged the analog signal. And this is why digital is so much better than analog. Noise or interference is just not a problem for digital, but is a huge one for analog, making digital signals much higher quality. Other benefits of digital are that it can carry much more information. In fact, you can send multiple different signals all at the same time. And digital signals are also easily interpreted by computers.